Hector Luis Camacho Matias was born on May 24, 1962 and died on November 24, 2012 in Bayamon, Puerto Rico, to Hector Luis Camacho Sr. and his wife Maria Matias. He was the second youngest of five children, which included a younger brother, Felix and sisters Raquel, Estrella, and Esperanza. When he was three, his parents separated, and his mother took the children with her to New York City. They lived in the James Weldon Johnson Housing Project in Spanish Harlem. Camacho attended local schools and ran into trouble as a teen, getting into street fights and landing in jail at 15. Pat Flannery, a language teacher in high school, helped the youth, teaching him to read and acting like a father figure. When Camacho learned boxing and karate as a teenager, Flannery guided him to the Golden Gloves competitions. Demonstrating talent as a boxer, Camacho chose that sport as a career. As an amateur, Camacho won three New York Golden Gloves championships. Camacho won the 1978 112-pound Subnovice Championship, 1979 118-pounds Open Championship, and 1980 119-pounds Open Championship. In 1979 Camacho defeated Paul DeVorce of the Yonkers Police Athletic League in the finals to win the title, and, in 1980, Camacho defeated Tyrone Jackson in the finals to win the championship. In 1980 Camacho won Intercity Golden Gloves, defeating Orlando Johnson of Chicago. Camacho completed his amateur career, having 100 fights under his belt, with 96 wins, and 4 losses. Camacho's nickname of Amacho has been explained in various ways. According to his father, he gave him the nickname because he was his youngest son. According to the New York Times, his mentor Pat Flannery is the one who gave him the nickname during his teens. According to Camacho himself, the nickname came as a result of American co-workers at a factory who couldn't pronounce his last name. He was commonly known by his nickname Macho, Camacho, was a Puerto Rican professional boxer and entertainer. Known for his quickness in the ring and flamboyant style, Camacho competed professionally from 1980 to 2010, and was a world champion in three weight classes. He held the WBC Super Featherweight title from 1983 to 1984, the WBC Lightweight title from 1985 to 1987, and the WBO Junior Welterweight title twice between 1989 and 1992. In a storied amateur career, Camacho won three New York Golden Gloves tournaments, beginning with the Subnovice 112 pounds championship in 1978. 3. During his professional career, Camacho had many notable fights against some of the biggest names in boxing, defeating Roberto Duran twice late in Duran's career, and knocking out Sugar Ray Leonard to send him into permanent retirement. He also fought Julio Cesar Chavez, Felix Trinidad, and Oscar de la Hoya, among others. During his later years, Camacho expanded his popular role and appeared on a variety of Spanish-language reality television shows including Univision's dancing show Mira Queen Baila and a weekly segment on the popular show El Gordo y La Flaca, named Macho News. However, he also had much publicized troubles with drug abuse and criminal charges. In 2005, Camacho was arrested for burglary, a charge to which he would later plead guilty. In 2011 he was shot at three times by would-be carjackers in San Juan, but was uninjured. In late 2012, Camacho was awaiting trial in Florida on charges of physical abuse of one of his sons. On November 20, 2012, Camacho was shot and seriously wounded while sitting in a car outside a bar in his native Bayamon, the driver, a childhood friend, was killed in the shooting. Camacho died four days later, after he was declared clinically brain dead, his mother requested the doctors remove him from life support. After lying in repose for two days in Santurce, Camacho's remains were transported to New York for burial at the request of his mother. Hector Camacho stood at 5 feet 7 inches, 170 centimeters, tall. Hector Camacho boasted an estimated net worth of about $100,000 million at the time of his passing in 2012. About Hector Camacho personal life. Camacho had four sons, his oldest from an early relationship and three from his marriage. His eldest son, Hector Makito Camacho Jr., born 1978 in New York, when Camacho was 16, also became a professional boxer and has won a championship. Camacho married Amy Torres in 1991, and they had three sons, Justin, born December 1, 1989, Christian, born 1992, and Tyler Camacho, born 1998. The New York Times reports the youngest son's name as Taylor. In 1998 she obtained a restraining order against Camacho, alleging he had threatened her and one of their sons. They divorced in 2001. 
In March 2011, his ex-wife Amy Camacho and at least one son were living in Orange County, Florida when an argument between the boxer and his ex-wife caused neighbors to become alarmed and call police. His youngest son, Tyler, is also a boxer, as was his brother, Felix Camacho. Together for 15 years, Hector was engaged to Shelley Salamassi. In 2003, the press and guide of Dearborn, Michigan printed an engagement notice between Camacho and Shelley Salamassi, along with a photograph of the couple. Although they never married, the New York Post reported she was the only one of his former significant others to fly to Camacho's New York funeral. About Hector Camacho professional career. After a stellar amateur career, Camacho began a quick rise through the professional rankings, first in the featherweight and then in the junior lightweight division. He was so confident that he claimed he could beat world featherweight champions Salvador Sanchez and Eusebio Pedroza. However, Sanchez died while Camacho was still coming up in the ranks. In the junior lightweight division, he defeated the top contenders earliest Cubanito Perez, Melvin Paul, John Montez, and Refugio Rojas. When the world junior lightweight champion, Bobby Chacon, refused to go to Puerto Rico to defend his title against Camacho, the World Boxing Council, WBC, declared the world championship vacant. Rafael Limon, who had been defeated and lost the championship to Chacon, fought Camacho for the vacant title. It was the first time Camacho was in a ring with a former world champion. He scored a knockdown on Limon late in the third round and twice more in the fifth round before the referee stopped it. Camacho also fought his first defense in San Juan, where he met Rafael Solis, a fellow Puerto Rican. He knocked out Solis with a right to the chin in round 5, and retained the title. Moving up to lightweight, Camacho won the United States Boxing Association title against Roque Montoya with a 12-round decision. His victory in the next fight, broadcast on home box office, HBO, made him a two-time world champion. Camacho beat the Mexican defending world champion, Jose Luis Ramirez in Las Vegas to win the WBC World Lightweight Championship. Camacho dropped Ramirez in round 3 and won the fight by a unanimous 12-round decision. He went up in weight and competed at the next level. After a few fights there, he met Ray Boom Boom Mancini, the former world lightweight champion who had a record of 29-3 with 23 knockouts, for the vacant WBO light welterweight title. Camacho was the fresher of the two and won a split 12-round decision. He joined that exclusive group of world champion boxers who have become world champions in three weight divisions. Camacho fought for the World Welterweight Championship against Felix Trinidad, 1994, and Oscar de la Hoya, 1997, but he lost both matches by unanimous decisions. About Hector Camacho funeral and burial. After Camacho's death, his mother, Maria Matias, expressed the wish for her son to be buried in New York City, where he had grown up and started his fighting career. Camacho's son Hector Camacho Jr. thought he should be buried in Puerto Rico, but agreed to his grandmother's and aunt's wishes. Before being taken to the mainland United States, Camacho's body lay in state at the Puerto Rico Department of Sports and Recreation in Santurce. During the two days Camacho's body was on viewing, hundreds of people visited the facilities to pay tribute to the fighter. Dozens of retired and active boxers from Puerto Rico and abroad were among those who participated in the funeral services. Among them were Felix, Tito, Trinidad, Wilfred Benitez, Wilfredo Gomez, John John Molina, Samuel Serrano, Roman, Rocky, Martinez, Juan Manuel Lopez, Nelson Depa, Alex, El Nene, Sanchez, Julian Solis, Manny Siaka, and the brothers McWilliams and McJoe Arroyo. Trinidad was outspoken in praise for his former rival, saying Camacho put Puerto Rico's flag up high, with a lot of pride like many other champions have done. He was very loved. You can see how everybody has suffered the loss of this great human being, a great champion. Trinidad regretted the circumstances of the fatal shooting. Camacho's body was flown to New York City on November 29 and presented at Elcock Funeral Home in Queens. On Friday, his body was taken to St. Cecilia's Church in Manhattan for a religious service. Camacho was buried on December 1 in St. Raymond Cemetery in the Bronx. Before the burial, a parade was held in Camacho's honor in East Harlem. Two white horses pulled a hearse carriage up First Avenue surrounded by fans, friends and family of the late boxer. Camacho's casket was draped in a Puerto Rican flag. After a visitation and mass at St. Cecilia's Church on East 106th Street on November 30 and December 1, Camacho was buried on the afternoon of December 1, 2012, in St. Raymond Cemetery, Bronx in the Throg's next section of the Bronx. That is all we have for you today, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up, share to your friends, leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe.